neonatal resuscitation. Outline Introduction Indications Procedure Precautions during intubation Precautions during extubation Don'ts in neonatal resuscitation Introduction Resuscitation of the newborn is a real emergency requiring participation of everyone in the labour or delivery room. The fact that 70% of the babies with absent heartbeat can be resuscitated shows how rewarding the manoeuvre is. Often, a good antenatal checkup indicates whether resuscitation is likely to be needed. A weak fetal heart of less than 100 beats per minute or its irregularity during the late stage of labour is a sign of progressive asphyxia that will need resuscitative measures. Indications Failure of bag and mask ventilation as well as medication When BBBV is needed When tracheal suction a special for aspiration of meconium is needed. Diaphragmatic hernia. Equipment. Endotracheal tube of appropriate size. Neonatal laryngoscope with straight blades of size zero for preterms and one for term babies. Procedure. The newborn is placed on a resuscitation table, high enough and with flat surface, in a supine position, with fully extended neck at the edge of the table. It is good to place folded towel or blanket beneath the shoulders to facilitate this position. The operator sits on a stool at the head end. As he opens the infant's mouth, with the index finger and thumb of the right hand, his left hand introduces the lighted laryngoscope, infant size, into the nasopharynx up to the epiglottis. The glottis is cleared by gentle suction. This makes it easier to clearly see the epiglottis and the surrounding structures. When the glottis is visible, a curved endotracheal tube is gently inserted through the larynx. Make sure that it is not pushed too far to prevent its entry into the right bronchus. The laryngoscope is now withdrawn. The intermittent positive pressure respiration, IPPR, is given through the tube either by simply puffing in air from operator's mouth, or with a bag, or mechanical respirator. As soon as respiration gets established, the tube should be withdrawn. If the response is poor, still efforts have got to be continued as long as the heartbeat exists. Precautions during intubation In order to prevent Hypoxia during intubation provide free flow oxygen, limit intubation attempt to 20 seconds and avoid excessive flexion of neck. Precautions during extubation 1. Give free flow oxygen through the lid of the endotracheal tube for a few seconds. Two. Always take help of a laryngoscope during extubation. 3. Continue bag and mask ventilation for 15 seconds after extubation. Don'ts in neonatal resuscitation. Don't administer heavy sedation to the mother. Don't do heavy and continuous suction.
don't let the neonate develop hypothermia. Don't carry on with tactile stimulation beyond two and never beyond four flicks. Don't delay endotracheal intubation in an apneic neonate. Don't blow your lungs into neonate's mouth. Don't use full palmer grasp for giving bag and mask ventilation. Don't give respiratory stimulants. Don't suck the nose first and the mouth later. The breathing effort that follows sucking the nose first may allow secretions in the mouth to be suddenly aspirated into the lower airway. Don't slap the back. Don't squeeze the rib cage. Don't force thighs on the abdomen. Don't dilate the anal sphincters.